Well, that is so sweet, buddy, but I gotta warn you, this is where plants go to die. Ah, no, 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 that's the beauty of this little fella here. You just, you, you give it a lot of light, uh, water once a week, and uh, it's, it's good to go. And the guy said, uh, watch out for yellow leaves, because it might be an indication of, of mealy bugs. Mealy bugs. Okay, well, I have got to run. I'm going to go meet with Marissa and work on Annie's trial. Thanks again. That was so sweet. Sure. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Bye, honey. Bye. Nice shrub. It's not a shrub. It's a Japanese ceremonial peace plant. They're known to improve the indoor air quality. I thought, you know, Liza, considering everything, could use a little extra oxygen. Hmm. I see what's happening. No, you don't. You don't see anything. There's nothing to see, okay? I'm just a good friend. She's going through a lot, and uh, I'm just helping her out. I bet you are helping her out. That's how Amanda and I started out. Friends. Except you two, we don't have a fraction of the history that you two have. But I'll tell you what, I will be there for you to officiate on your wedding day. How's that? <laughs> yeah, as long as we're changing the subject. What do you mean you don't know what's happening with your own wife? Oh, I'm sorry, you're responding to something from a half hour ago? Yeah, I thought I would. I don't know. She's, uh, she's shutting me out. She's... I haven't even talked to her since yesterday. How come? How come? Because I was at Wildwind and she was upstairs with the baby and I was talking to David and I thought I was alone with him and I had some choice words for him and she, I guess, heard me. Fool! Attacking a dying man? Well, apparently she was miffed and she kind of sort of threw me out. You were right. He is using his sickness to suck her back in and she is defending him and she is taking care of him and there is nothing I can do about it. What a bet. I'll call the hospital, tell them you're not feeling well. Absolutely not. I need to work. And I don't want my colleagues to know about this. How are you supposed to work when you can barely stand? Damn it. I forgot to take my medication. What, where are they? It's in my bag. Way. And then you you tap the air bubbles out. And then you just inject it into my arm. You think you can handle that? It's best if you can find a prominent vein, okay? It's less painful that way. Scott, when he came to see me after his trial, he practically sprinted out of here. Remember? Yeah. And, and I've called him five times. He hasn't returned any of my phone calls. What if he never comes back? Okay. This is you being nervous about your trial, and it is making you paranoid, okay? Adam is at home, resting so that he can have his strength back to support you. All right, now, you better gear up, too. You have got to walk into that courtroom confident, strong, mentally and physically. I'm working on it. Yeah, then why the doctor say you won't get out of bed to exercise? Because I don't feel like it. Okay, you're getting out of here tomorrow. All right, you have got to be ready. So what do you say we get the guard to uncuff you, we take a couple of laps around the floor, get the old blood pumping, huh? Fine. Okay, okay. But first, I want you to look me in the eye, and I want you to tell me that you believe in Adam and that he won't let you down. I believe in Adam. He'll save me. He has to. Chandler men are unpredictable. Except at Christmas time. You can count on one thing, a train. You mean as in the railroad? I mean as in the seaside comet. When Adam was a kid, his father got him the complete set. He even saved up a full year to buy it. I drive that thing once, I'll tell you. Wow, I didn't know that you were an engineer. 
Well, that's when Adam lets me drive it, of course. We fight over the controls like five-year-olds. Then after dinner, he tells his version of a Christmas carol. Scrooge is the hero. The ghosts haunt him because they're jealous. <laughs> of course. Yeah, Christmas Chandler style is definitely a unique experience. Oh, I'm really glad that you're trying to work things out with your family. But, I mean, just a few weeks ago, you were trying to cut Adam out of your life. What, what changed? This time of year, I kind of like to reevaluate things. Everything. Things that matter the most to me. Family is what matters most. I'm so lucky to have you and little Adam and Colby. But I need Adam. And as much as I try to fight it, it's true. And this whole thing started when Annie came into the picture anyway. Look, I, I know, I'm sorry, okay? I know you're trying to help Liza defend her. No, I get it, it's great. It's a, it's a great career move for you. But you know, if I'm gonna get my family back on track, Annie needs to go to prison. You know that, right? Hey, hey, uh, listen, I'm so sorry to interrupt, but I, I really need to talk to Marissa. Yeah, um, it's fine. I'll see you later. Yes. Um, listen, I, um, I've, I've spent a, a lot of time thinking about this trial. Talk to me. Well, Annie is going to need another attorney because I'm off the case. 